Well, first of all, just tell me about the, the workshop that you led this morning and, and what you hope the participants got out of it. So I led the Difference this morning, which is a new workshop, uh, pre-conference workshop opportunity for the Marketing and Business Development Council participants. And so we've, uh, in the past, had service learning projects um, and a lot of requests to have that again. And so we did it this time um, as a service learning project, and it's a, a new a new version, um, a little updated, a little freshened up version. And so we built 14 bicycles for Boys and Girls Club, but we built it around a leadership exercise, a, around leadership styles, and paired people together by those different leadership styles, and then kind of debriefed how they worked in those different leadership styles inside of their groups, and then debriefed the project itself. And so then the kids will come on Saturday, and get the bicycles and that'll be part of our closing ceremony so uh, and what does it mean for our, for these kids from the Boys and Girls Club to get a brand new bike what does that mean to them yeah so um, the Boys and Girls Club the, the local one that we're dealing with here in San Antonio they have a year-long program the kids um, enroll in that program the cost of it's about seven hundred dollars a year um, the families are asked to pay fifty dollars and in many cases they they don't even pay that because they don't have it and so in in the case of these 14 bicycles these would be kids who would otherwise just not even have them and so we're, we're dealing with a, a, a socioeconomic level that, that doesn't afford that as a luxury for their kids and it, it that is not under the Christmas tree on, on Christmas morning for those kids and so it's a really great opportunity to give back to the community and Boys and Girls Club does do financial literacy education and they do all kinds of um, learning and health learning and, and help kids study and give them recreation and safe places to play and so um, just a really great give back to the community around a learning around leadership style so really cool and I also wanted to ask you a question about this conference so how awesome is this conference for for marketers to come and, and network and and just kind of be in their element with with other credit union people so it's it, it's such a great opportunity for marketers and business developers because you have you know you have the vendors that you and the supporters of the industry right that you deal with all the time who have a passion for credit unions and for the movement so you get to connect with them you get to connect with the best and the brightest of credit unions you know we have diamond award winners here we have marketing and professional of the years business development professional of the years hall of fame winners so you get to mix and mingle in a crowd of 500 people who are up to the same game you are in this you know in this amazing movement and so you, you you really get to connect with some amazing people. Some, just it's it's a re you know an opportunity to re-energize yourself. I always learn something new. Um, I always have an opportunity to. I, I have a good hearty laugh every year about something, um, and I, I, something always pulls my heartstring too at the marketing conference. You always get um, just something to just really reignite your your passion for another year. So really cool, really cool opportunity. All right, so this is the wild card question I'm asking some people. Uh, uh, how do you not market your credit union? How, how, would you, how should you not market your credit union? Um, so the way you not market your credit union is just that, not to market it. And so a lot of credit unions, and particularly small credit unions, and I, I'm, I lead a small credit union, um, they, they don't market because um, in a pressure, in an environment where there's a lot of pressure on expense, right, to keep the credit union solvent, to keep the credit unions um, um, afloat, that's one of the things that we cut. And what we don't realize is, is that that's kind of cutting the future. So the way I say not to market your credit union is not to market your credit union. If, if, if you're missing that, right, then you're missing opportunity. You're missing opportunity to sustain and grow the credit union long, long term. Um, and then the flip side, flip side of that question is, uh, how do you have any marketing tips for how to market your credit union? Yeah, so, um, you know, I wish I had the golden answer, right? Like, if you do just this one thing, it'll fix all of your numbers magically, or it'll grow your credit union massively, or, you know, you'll have explosive growth. And, and the real reality is, is that that answer to that question is as unique as every credit union itself. So what one credit union needs, another credit union, that, that might not work for them, right? It may not work for their segmentation. It might not work um, in the in the, the regional area where they're at. It, 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 it just may not, it, they may already be saturated in that particular product. And so what, what you have to do is you have to use a lot of different tools. And you have to say, you know, I have all of these channels available to me, and I have all of these mediums available to me, and I have all of these different creative ideas available to me and that the the digital world continues to explode with really cost-effective ways to do that and so even small credit unions can do some really great things in the digital world for really inexpensively so I don't know that there's a magic answer for that for every credit union um, but there is a magic answer for that for every credit union in and of themselves